All right, folks, I will preface this conversation by saying I am well aware of the fact that it is way too early to begin speculation about the 2024 presidential election, given that we haven't even seen what happened with the 2022 midterms yet. Having said that, though, it is looking more and more likely that we're just going to see a rehash of 2020. We're going to see Joe Biden versus Donald Trump again, because Joe Biden is looking more and more likely to want to seek re-election. And let me just remind you that he will be 82 years old in 2024. So as Brett Samuels of The Hill explains, President Biden intends to run for re-election in 2024, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki confirmed Monday, following a flurry of reports on discussions among Democrats about whether he would follow through on a bid for a second term. That's his intention, Psaki told reporters, confirming reports that Biden has been telling advisors and staff he plans to run again in 2024. The Washington Post reported over the weekend that Biden and his closest advisors have been reassuring allies in recent days that he plans to seek a second Second term. That report followed a political piece last week about a positioning among other Democrats who may be interested in running for president should Biden decline to run for re-election. While Biden's plans for 2024 could change over the next two years, sources close to the president have maintained since he took office in January that he would campaign for a second term. So I feel torn about this, not necessarily out of preference, but strategically speaking, and whether or not this is going to make any difference in terms of the Democratic Party's ability to defeat Donald Trump, assuming he is the Republican Party's nominee. Um, I think that if he steps down and allows someone like Kamala Harris or Pete Buttigieg to run in his place, do they have a better chance than Joe Biden at beating Donald Trump? I actually think they have a worse chance against Donald Trump. I mean, I don't think that Joe Biden would fare well against Donald Trump, assuming there's going to be a round two, because I think that COVID-19 really changed the dynamic of the 2020 election. I think that Trump was the favorite, but because of COVID, Joe Biden had that advantage because Trump bungled it so much. But come 2024, COVID-19 might not be as prevalent of an issue. We don't know what that's going to look like. People are going to see that Democrats didn't actually deliver, assuming they didn't deliver, and they'll forget how bad Republicans were, and they'll just choose to stay home, and that will pave the way to a Trump victory. So either way, I think that the conclusion is Democrats are fucked. I mean, really, if they run Kamala Harris or Pete Buttigieg, does anyone actually believe that they could fare better against Trump? I mean— Kamala Harris and Pete Buttigieg, they stand for nothing. Their policies are milk toast, and perhaps they're to the left of Biden, at least aesthetically speaking, but they can't excite the base. The reason why the Democratic Party came out for Joe Biden, even if they disagreed with him politically, they supported Medicare for All, so they agreed with Bernie in theory, but they still voted for Biden, was because of electability. So if Donald Trump is running again and assuming there's widespread, you know, fear among the Democratic Party's base that Trump can be elected once again. Well, then, do you think that they're going to opt for someone who they think can be the future of the Democratic Party? Or do you think they're going to be more inclined to stick with what they know? And that's Biden, someone who already proved that he can beat Donald Trump other than, you know, rather than, I should say, an unknown quantity like Pete Buttigieg and uh, Kamala Harris. And just like from my perspective as a leftist, I honestly don't care. I'm not invested in a Democratic Party primary. The only extent to which I give a shit about the 2024 election is that I don't want to see Trump get elected because I think that would be objectively bad for democracy. But the Democratic Party, I mean, who's there to be excited for? There's no progressive leader that is going to run in 2024, at least from this time in 2021, it doesn't seem like anyone's going to run. Bernie's not going to run again, and he shouldn't want to run again. I mean, he should take a break. He tried it twice. He gave it his best. If I were Bernie, I wouldn't want to run again. But I mean, who's going to run besides a corporate Democrat? The most progressive that we get is going to be who? Like Stacey Abrams? I mean, that's just, they're all the same to me, honestly. All of the corporate Democrats, to me, they all blend together. And that's bad because ideologically speaking, you want diversity. You want to see a robust Democratic Party primary. But in the event, let's assume that Biden didn't want to run again. And we saw a Democratic Party primary 
I mean, what's there to be excited about? Another Beto O'Rourke versus Pete Buttigieg Obama impersonation contest? I mean, the Democratic Party, their prospects right now are, are terrible. They have a lot of people who are prominent figures who are uh, terrible. So, I mean, either way, I really don't care. I, like, I think it's bad that Joe Biden wants to run again because he's bad. But then again, the other options are bad as well. So, I mean, the, damned if you do, damned if you don't. They're fucked either way. So, I, I, don't, I don't even know what to say. Um, if we do see a rehash of Biden versus Trump, I will say that that really speaks to how flawed our system is and how we definitely need electoral reform so we don't keep saying, seeing the same fucking people again and again and again. Like we need to move past the Clinton-Obama era and move to a different era, but I'm afraid that the next era is going to be as shitty as the current era because you're not really changing the structural flaws that make the Democratic Party shitty in the first place. I mean, it is a party that has been captured by special interests and large multinational corporations. And to the extent that they want to implement changes, there's always going to be at least one or two figures that holds the entire party back, like Manchin and Cinema. So people are, are feeling rightfully demoralized. And I think that the Democratic Party isn't helping with that. But having said that, though, Biden's going to run again in 2024. We need new leaders in this country. Um, I think that most of you can agree with that. But is there anyone remotely exciting? Anyone who's at least somewhat progressive and not a fake progressive? I don't know. But seeing this, it depressed me. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be honest, but it's way too early to get depressed and down about 2024. I'll focus on 2022 and all the doomerism and gloom that comes with that. The inevitable bloodbath and return of Republicans to power. God, I hate American politics. Why do I talk about this shit so much? You know, you, you, you know, you know the, you know the thing, thing. You're getting nervous, man.